welcome everyone. We are happy to see you all joining today to participate in the Safe Soil Movement. My name is Guneet and I'm a volunteer with Conscious Planet and the Safe Soil Movement. In today's session, we will start with a brief introduction of the Safe Soil Movement, share the latest updates and Sadhguru's journey, discuss what you can do to participate and we'll answer any questions that you may have. This should take about 45 to 50 minutes. We hope you will stay with us. Some of you may have been following along with us from the beginning and probably some of you may be joining in for the first time. So we'll start with a brief introduction. So what is the Safe Soil Movement? Safe Soil is a global movement to save our soil from extinction by bringing about global national policy changes to revitalize the soil, by raising and maintaining the organic content in the soil to at least a minimum of three to 6%. Let us watch a brief video to learn more. We are talking about climate change, carbon emissions, and global warming and various other aspects, but we are not addressing soil. Soil is the habitat upon which zillions of lives thrive. Once there is no richness in soil, then you have forsaken the planet in many ways. Every responsible scientist in the world and the UN agencies are clearly saying, we have only eighty to hundred harvests left. That means approximately forty-five to fifty years of agricultural soil left on the planet. By 2045, we will be producing forty percent less food than what we are producing right now and our populations will be 9.3 billion people. The food shortages that could manifest in the next twenty-five years, the consequences of that is unimaginable. Civil wars will unfold across the world once there is food shortage. What we are facing now is soil extinction. Why is soil becoming extinct? Where is it going away? What is happening to our soil? We must understand if you add organic content to sand, sand will turn into soil. If you remove all organic content from the soil, soil will become sand. In normal agricultural soil, the minimum organic content should be between three to six percent. The most minimum is three percent. At least this minimum to keep the soil alive, to keep the soil as living soil is a must. Agricultural soils across the world, the depletion is so heavy. In most countries, more than fifty percent of the topsoil is already gone in the last hundred years. The nutrient levels have dropped significantly. The level of micronutrients you would get from your food in early twentieth century to what you are getting from the same food now has dropped ninety percent. If you ate one orange in nineteen twenties, what you got from it, now in twenty twenty, if you have to get the same, you will have to eat eight oranges. This is what we have done to our food. Soil is the biggest ecosystem on the planet and so few people know anything about it. One teaspoon of healthy soil probably contains more microbes than there are people on earth. The microbial life in the first twelve to fifteen inches of topsoil is the basis of our existence. It is this magic beneath our feet which has produced the life that we are. This first twelve to fifteen inches of soil is the basis of life for eighty-seven percent of life on this planet, including you and me. We have to begin to recognize that what we call our soil, Mother Earth, is a living organism. Open soils, ripped open by plowing, open to sunlight, is the basis of destruction of microbial life. So the focus should be on agriculture, the focus should be on seeing that land is under shade as much as possible. Some kind of shade, grasses, herbs, bushes, trees. Conscious Planet is launching Save Soil Movement 
to bring about a policy change to regenerate soil as a part of this. <laughs> I'm 65 and I'm riding 30,000 kilometers, a lone motorcycle journey, 30,000 kilometers across 24 nations to activate support from the citizenry to assure the governments long-term investments will be appreciated. So it's extremely important that soil regeneration is enshrined in the policy of every government on the planet. We must change the narrative on the planet that soil is a wealth, a legacy we have received from previous generations and we have to pass it on as living soil for future generations. We are in a cusp of time, if you do the right things now, in the next fifteen to twenty-five years, we can significantly turn this situation around and regenerate the soil. But if we allow this to progress like this for another thirty to forty years, after forty years if we attempt this, then it could take hundred and fifty to two hundred years because that much loss of biodiversity would have happened. From twenty-first of March for one hundred days, the whole world, every human being on the planet should talk soil. We must hear the word soil, save soil everywhere to see that the narrative on the planet changes towards the most vital aspect of our life, the soil. Each one of you should reach as many people as you can to make this happen. Many global leaders and influencers are already participating in the movement. Be a part of this and let us make it happen. From my part, uh, as much as I can contribute. We're going to save the soil. Do your part. And saving the soils. Our future, our children's future, and our planet's future depend on it. Save the soil. We know what we must do, so let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make, let's it, make it happen. happen. Let's, let's make it happen. happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. As many of you may be aware, Sadhguru started a 30,000 kilometer, which is 18,600 miles journey, 100 day motorcycle journey from London to South India on March 21st. During this journey, he's been meeting with global leaders, influencers, decision makers, citizens. He would like to share a few highlights from the journey so far. It's a great pleasure for me, these beautiful Caribbean nations are going for this fast. <laughs> this memorandum of understanding that we are signing, it will also bring some technical assistance to the Caribbean region. This is a historic moment because here is the first step to turn around. What you're doing today is really important because people like you who have a wonderful following of millions and millions of people and what you're doing with that is so important with saving the soil. If you want to say, I love you to your child, you must just say, save soil because it is a more committed way of saying I love you. It's an extraordinary campaign. It echoes what we in the Commonwealth have been aspiring to do for a number of years. Next hundred days from 21st of March, we want the whole world to talk about soil. It is not about the motorcycle, it's not about the journey, it's not about the song, it is about moving people on the planet. Make it happen, huh? Make it happen. Nobody spoke about soil like Sai Guru does. I think if we all contribute, 
then we have a really strong voice. There has been so much excitement and everybody is so excited to hear Sadhguru. This is our time on the planet. What we do here is our business. Let's do the right things. I honestly didn't feel a part of the movement before, obviously. I'd never met him. Seeing what kind of a following he has and how impactful it is, I really feel like I just joined a global movement. Graffiti artists supporting this Safe Soil movement, wanting to inspire the youth, and youth being the major population in most parts of the world today, all graffiti artists, to whatever walls that you have, Make sure that you use this. One of the most beautiful cities of Europe. It really resonated with me, the message that we have to save uh, our soil. It's our common issue together. It's not for one nation, for one person, but uh, we as people have to unite and uh, to solve this. This is a celebration of human beings coming together to do what they need to do. All of us have been part of this destruction. The only way is all of us become part of the solution also. Yeah. Riding on to Italy, Italy is raining heavily tonight. We are in Venice. So it's like a, a wave of hope. It's necessary for the future. Over two thousand years ago, this eternal city made the mistake of overfarming the region and that was also the fall of the city at that time. So, the Romans of today should never make that mistake once again. And we are very happy that we are aligned in our message to uh, really hide the profile of soils. Young people, getting into farming is very good. That's the yes. future of the world. Thank you. Here we are in Geneva. I think there, it's a message of urgency, but it's also a message of hope. So I would really like to thank Sadhguru for his leadership. The global movement led by him addresses the soil crisis by mobilizing people around the entire world. This massive fountain in the Lake of Geneva is lit up for Save Soil today. With Save Soil colors of blue and green, you cannot stop this. The moment is on. It's going to be on till the policies are done. In this cold, slippery road and winds are picking up speed, no matter what the hell, I have to keep going. You think this is a problem? Relentless commitment to what you do, that is the only solution. Save soil, let's make it happen. an MOU to be signed between Isha Foundation and 4 per thousand initiative Soils for Food Security and Climate. We were just sharing exactly the same objective, increasing carbon content in the soil. Sadhguru, so, what you are doing is really impressive. I am quite amazed and thrilled by it. I was very honored to be on the stage and, and be able to actually express that, that uh, his mission is uh, what we need. It's fantastic. The plans have been great. Come on, Brussels. We should all stand up and make the most impact we can to create a real change in the world. Save the soil. Let the 
بودم بودم ا سماشنگ ایوننگ ات مین ایونت اند ا سوپر انتوزیاستیک کراؤڈ کمیٹنگ دیم سیلز ٹو میک دس ہیپن اٹس اٹس ہارٹ وارمنگ ٹو سی ایوری بڈی کم ٹوگیدر سیف سوئل آن دی موو لیٹس میک اٹ ہیپن Just look up the news and see in the last four months how many governments have started talking about soil because they see it's picking up momentum. But if you create three to four billion people talking about soil, that's it. That will be the main conversation in the government. Save the soil is a very important movement that we support as UNCCD. We would like to propose to the world to do whatever they can to protect the soil. because it is our future. Save soil, let's make it happen. I need someone to show me the way. I need someone to show me the way. The education ministry in Germany has now come into the picture officially and asked all the children to do artwork to support Save Soil Movement. Good Arjun, wonderful. Congratulations that you wrote to the Prime Minister. Let's make it happen! So, on the way to Bratislava, well, the road surface is not great. It's great that all of you are here in Bratislava. Nobody ever imagined hundred years ago that we will have to save soil of all the things. Would you like to come in the kitchen and cook with me a little Why bit? Why not? Without soil being rich, food won't be rich. Without food being rich, our bodies will not be a full potential. What do you call it? <laughs> It's a Sadhguru Sahib. <laughs> Table 12. <laughs> the old heroes always built something which stands up like this. But the new heroes are those people who will nurture the soil which always lies beneath our feet, never stands up. <laughs> this wonderful city of Belgrade, the UNFAO said something which really deeply hurt me is the soil that we are consuming right now belongs not even to these little children, belongs to the unborn child. This is an expression of our love and responsibility for our own lives and the future lives. I love the message that he sent and how he like broadened it that it's everybody's responsibility. I think there is a great potential for a good collaboration, partnership with the campaign Save the Soil and what we are doing as a government, we can make it together. It's very important bringing a certain sense of love and celebration towards the land that we walk upon. Uh, going from Sofia to Bucharest, not a weather for motorcycle for sure. Organize yourselves whichever way you want, form groups, come together somehow and see this happens. Sadhguru reminded me that I have a voice. We were really amazed by Sadhguru to appear and they were just so happy to see him. This many people, if all of you are committed and 
you spend fifteen, twenty minutes a day to enhance the message, I think I don't have to go on writing like crazy. Yesterday I wrote eighteen hours, can you believe this through Bulgarian roads? His uh, honest <laughs> expression of his wisdom and love for humanity, I think. He's been riding through very, uh, you know, rough terrain, rough, rough roads, dusty construction sites. It was a long drive and we were getting a little late for the live event at Tbilisi. He, right at the end, uh, maybe five minutes before the event, uh, decided that he couldn't stop for a break. In the traffic, he was just removing his jacket and gloves and throwing in the car just to make it on time. The whole purpose of this moment is to first to bring this home that when you walk upon the soil, you know it is the source of your life. Keeping it alive is the most important thing. Will you make it happen? from God for, for the people, for the earth, yes. for the soil. We must save the soil, we must plant the trees, we must replenish the forest, we must save our planet. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you so much for standing up for soil. Right now, soil has turned into sand because we pulled out all the organic content. We are taking the life out of the soil. If we don't put that back, all the other concerns which are important to be attended to, but none of them will matter. <laughs> this is not for us, this is for him and his generation, hoping that they would have a better future with a better world, safe soil. Here in Palestine, wonderful to be here. I salute you and I respect your initiative and my full support of what is needed from the Palestinian side to support you. The most important thing is we must keep our lands alive for future generations because that is a fundamental responsibility we hold for our children and future generations beyond them. Well, it's very proud. I can tell you as a motorcycle driver, I also like motorcycles and it's not easy. The, the, the main, this guy, He's devoted, and this is what makes him so impressive and so he touches people. When it comes to agriculture, when it comes to soil, when it comes to soil ecology, our national borders mean nothing because microorganisms operate as a global system. People are talking about doctors without borders. I'm asking you, are you beings without borders? Are you a life without borders? Sadhguru, one of the world's voices and leaders on soil conservation and land in this day and age, having him and having you here is absolutely fantastic and we welcome you. Implementation has to happen on the land and land is not managed by scientists, land is managed by farmers. 
So it's extremely important, it must be a single point agenda, incentive-based agenda. If inspiration, incentives and disincentives after a certain period of time is the way forward, this is my appeal to every one of you because I don't want this COP15 to end as one more convention with more paper and more paper. This must end with concrete action and action in such a way that is it's implementable. There is no word to describe what Sadhguru is doing for us. We know how much, you know, you had to do to get here, you left so many things you were doing with it, but you honored the country, you honored the people of this country. Thank you. And on behalf of the head of state, it's my pleasure. Have, <laughs> I want to thank you very much. It's a great privilege. Thank you very much. Thank you. Same side. Let's make it happen. The Saudi Arabia as a kingdom is since 1970s. Converting deserts into fertile lands has been quietly happening. Other countries which have fertile lands and actively working to turn them into deserts, you must put them to shame, it's very important. In so many ways we have found uh, the differences between each other in terms of nationality, race, religion, caste, creed. <coughs> If we act as one humanity, in the next 10-15 years, we can turn this around. Now, We have already loved you a lot. <laughs> we have we even loved you even before seeing you. <laughs> and when we saw you, we even fell in love even more. <laughs> <laughs> We are very glad to have uh, Sadhguru in the Kingdom of Bahrain. You are capable of looking beyond your immediate well-being and doing something in the world that is worthwhile. Right now, this is not even about generosity, this is about survival. It's an honor to have you here in this location, in the heart of Bahrain, in this ancient harbor. We're very proud that you're here today discovering the layers of history in this beautiful place. You know, the most important thing of what I have learned from him is that the most important thing is to live in harmony and peace within yourself. <laughs> Forty minutes past uh, midnight, just another maybe thirty kilometers to the Emirates border, UAE border. It's been a long drive, totally 930 kilometers today we're doing. Well, uh, UAE has become, you know, an airline hub and a shopping hub and other kinds. But nobody imagined it could be an ecological hub. Thank you so much for being here with us, Sadhguru, on this, on this wonderful journey. The UAE is partnering with you on Safe Soil, such an important cause. Safe soil is surely a cause that we can all fully endorse. My dear brother said Guru, I would like to thank you for including the United Arab Emirates in your inspiring journey. I'm proud to share that the UAE is working hard to include soil management and national strategies and policies. Save the soil is one of the most important things on the planet right now. It's not his mission, it needs to become all of our missions. I'm here to save soil. Ah, 
had a meeting with uh, Sadhguruji somewhere in uh, December, I believe. And uh, the net outcome of that whole thing is that I have earmarked funds to make good of the echo deficit of that particular year. Economy should also go grow, but it should have a ecological responsibility in its growth. Right now everybody is talking about robotics. It's time robotics goes into agriculture. Right now you have a big machine which just rips the soil off. This if you leave the robotic machines through the day and night where just as much as needed they can do. They don't have to rip the whole soil. Yes, science is already there, we know what to do. It is just that industry has not caught up because in the policy those things have not come. I said, oh man, one more desert I have to write. I said, no Sadhguru, Oman looks like Kerala. <laughs> if one part of your nation is green, it just takes a determined effort to stretch that green all the way up. No words to describe what it means to be back in India. Seventy days we've been on the road, seventy-four nations have signed up. It's a very proud moment to have amidst us the saviour of the soil. It's my fortune that the first step that I take in the sacred land of birth is in लीड लई गुजरात कही सकते लीड लई ने गुजरात आटलू बने एट झड़प थी You are in Gujarat since two days. Yes. Gujarat kaisa laga? People are cool, but the weather is hot. <laughs> <laughs> Will you promise me in the next hundred years' time, we'll make the weather also cool for future generations? <laughs> I was really happy to interact with Sadhguruji. It really uh, inspired me to work more and more towards this country, this nation, this soil. that uh, 
on this day when it's a Rana Pratap Ji's Jayanti, and I happen to be here. I think is an exceptional uh, movement and I think now it is our responsibility to make sure that we spread that message, pass on that message and actually do something about it on the ground. और पूरी दुनिया में एक नया संदेश देने के लिए सदगुरु जी ने जो ये महाअभियान चलाया है आने वाले समय में हमारी नौजवान नौजवान पीढ़ियां आपके इस बताए मार्गदर्शन में चलते हुए मिट्टी बचाने का अभियान को आगे बढ़ाएगी क्या आपकी आवाज और आशीर्वाद मेरे साथ है क्या As uh, the Prime Minister has taken up the Solar Alliance, I think there's an immense opportunity after talking to various leaders around the world, I realize India and the uh, Prime Minister of India could take up the leadership of soil regeneration in India and the world. Sadhguru Ji ne jo lambi ye and mehnat wali yatra hai, baik pe, baise unka bachpan se shok raha hai ye, लेकिन फिर भी काम बड़ा कठिन होता है सदगुरु जी ने यात्रा की अपने आप में बहुत बड़ा काम किया है और मुझे पक्का विश्वास है कि दुनिया को मिट्टी के प्रति स्नेह तो पैदा हुआ ही होगा लेकिन भारत की मिट्टी की ताकत का भी परिचय मिला होगा आप सबको बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं धन्यवाद एज अ कैपिटल सिटी यू हैव अ मोर इंपॉर्टेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी देन एनीबडी एल्स विल यू कीप इट अप फॉर द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मंथ्स टिल दिस पॉलिसी लेट्स मेक इट हैप और रिवर्स और सेव सोयल ये दोनों अभियान उत्तर प्रदेश के लिए तो अत्यंत तो महत्वपूर्ण और प्रेरणादायी हो सकते हैं और मुझे लगता है उत्तर प्रदेश की 25 करोड़ जनता इस पूरे अभियान के साथ जुड़ेगी इसमें कोई संदेह रहना भी नहीं चाहिए बचाओ अभियान हम सभी साथ हैं मैं आ 
आपको मध्य प्रदेश की तरफ से मध्य प्रदेश के साढ़े आठ करोड़ जनता की तरफ से मध्य प्रदेश सरकार की तरफ से मैं ये वचन देता हूं कि मिट्टी बचाओ अभियान में आपके पीछे हम कदम से कदम और कंधे से कंधा मिलाकर साथ चलेंगे After nearly a month in the desert land, first taste of monsoon as we enter Maharashtra with the welcome rain. Twenty-five thousand four hundred and six kilometers to Nashik. Right now, my motorcycle is raining now. We are committed to this cause, and I'm here to say that Maharashtra, a place so bad, Isha Foundation just so bad, and Save Soil just so bad. even something which is indian is not something which is state wise not something which is in your neighborhood it's something something globally that we have to really address telangana prabhutva pakshana mee yokka foundation chestunna krushi ki mem anubandhanga untamu thoduga untam ani cheppi prakatisthu mee andarki dhanyavaadalu arpistu mugistanu sev sai 562 events 26000 kilometers i'm just tired saying it <laughs> Can you please tell our youth what does it mean to be a soldier? You went to the cinema and sa sat for two and a half hours because there are soldiers standing there and protecting our nation. <laughs> Being a soldier does not mean he wants to die. but he is willing to die it's a very big difference the government they have not only signed the mou i promise that we will do everything under the command to save soil as you can see the public and decision makers have been so warm and welcoming and supportive of the movement now traveling to the southern indian states and cities sadguru touched hyderabad kurnu bangalore and now today he's in mysore and he has addressed thousands of people in fact the live event was streamed on social media youtube just a few hours back and he's almost touched close to 600 events did you all watch the youtube uh, live feed today
if you haven't we will be posting the links in the chat box so that you can catch up and uh, definitely um, it's been hard to catch up with Sadhguru's energy and the journey um, Sadhguru's journey is now in the final home stretch and just to give you an idea of the magnitude of this movement to date Safe Soil movement has gained the attention of over 3.2 billion plus people and has brought 74 nations on board to Safe Soil since March 21st. Our goal is 4 billion people, which is 60% of world's electorate, and that's what it will take to effect policy changes. Now, the big question is, how can you participate? So while Sadhguru is doing everything he can, we need to do whatever we can do to maximize the impact um, there is a website for the Safe Soil Movement, and uh, there is a toolkit available there. Uh, the website is safesoil.org. We'll paste it in the chat window. And, you know, last webinar, we focused on the walkathon, the Safe Soil Walkathon that happened across the world um, on this Father's Day weekend to bring awareness about the movement and celebrate, actually, Sadhguru's 100-day journey, which is almost coming to an end. Close to 15,000 people registered for the walkathons from all over North America, Latin America. For the first time, 50 plus registered on the same day. Countries Canada, Mexico, Argentina, Costa Rica, Chile, Lima, Brazil, Colombia, just to give you a few examples here. I'm in Vancouver here and um, we had a lovely event yesterday despite the rain. It did not dampen our spirits and it was such a nice turnout. And we not only had many people public inquiring and asking questions about this movement, we also garnered a lot of um, media attention and interest. So let's keep this momentum on. Now I'd like to share my screen with you to explore a little bit of the safesoil.org and we'll go over the toolkit webpage. There is so much information available, resources available that we can truly leverage um, all these resources and amplify our voices. So if you look here, we have, um, I'll just enlarge my screen here a bit. So this is the home page. And if you scroll down on the home page, so this is the Safe Soil Toolkit. And in the Safe Soil Toolkit, you'll see a wealth of information. As we scroll down, you can see there is the soil facts. You know, soil facts has a lot of facts that are available that you can share on a daily basis on your social media. It could be Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can, and it's so easy. You click on this green icon. You can directly share from here on your WhatsApp, Twitter. You can save it, download it, and save it on any of your social media, so maybe TikTok. A um, lot of interesting facts are available here. Now, if you click on the downloads, the next tab, wealth of information, you can see there is digital assets. And within the digital assets, you can see there are logos available, partnership presentations available. You have a um, lot of download materials that you can not only download, you can print material, you can create your postcards, flyers, and distribute. Um, and also, if you Scroll further down, there is merchandise available. A lot of you have been asking us where can we go and if we need a you know, certain merchandise, you can directly download from here and get it printed locally, or you could also do it through Isha Life. And further down, we have the social media tutorials. Great uh, information available. If you are a novice or someone who's still learning how to post on Instagram, WhatsApp, or Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, you can utilize these uh, tutorials uh, based on your skill level, whether you are a beginner or an expert, wealth of information available. You can you know, leverage all of this information here. So that is um, available in the toolkit. Now, if you go to the action now button, uh, sorry, next is the videos. So next to the download, we have the videos tab. And as you can see, a lot of information, a lot of videos, all the events that Sadhguru has been so far are available here. So you can catch up on all the events that are happening. This page gets updated regularly. This website actually gets updated regularly. Includes the meditation, the soil meditation as well. 
you can uh, look at that. And the last tab here is the messages tab. If you go to the messages tab, you can see again all the various messages you can post on various platforms. Um, easy links are available, so you can post it. It's may been made really, really easy. You know, it doesn't matter whether you're someone who's uh, tech savvy or geek or newcomer, like you could do a lot directly. It's very simple information here. And on the screen, if you look at the top right corner, there's a green action now button. So you can go there on the action now and you will see there you have learn about soil. Firstly, watch that video. If you haven't yet watched the Save Soil 30 minute video that uh, was a documentary that was released. Um, because it's very important when you are sharing this information is to first become aware yourself. Once you're aware, you watch this video, learn about soil, the easier to talk about it and share the information with your friends and family. So if you scroll down, you can send letters. You can send letters to the leaders, politicians. Very easy, simple way. You can type your country where you belong to. You can type that country name. And for your country, leader's name and information comes up and there is a letter template available that you can utilize. So you can send letters and you can also, you know, submit that uh, you have sent those letters. You can click on that information there. So that is something, even if it doesn't matter, you're self-employed, you're a student, all the templates are available for you to utilize under that action now button. And the next one is share about soil. If you go up the second tab in the same actions now page, is the share about soil information. So again, you have all the information available here. We've gone over, like you can also um, make a commitment to gather support by, you know, pledging yourself for support. And lastly, but not least is become an earth buddy. So if you click on that uh, be an earth buddy tab, you can see there is a direct link available to going on the Save Soil Toolkit. So if you click on the earth buddy, you can sign up now, hoping that most of you have already signed up as an earth buddy. If not, I think that's a very important step is sign up as an earth buddy. And uh, that way you will get regular information, facts and you can follow the movement very closely and become the amplify the voice. Um, so again, a lot of information available once you go on the safesoil.org website. So explore the website and you will find a wealth of information there. Keep yourself well informed. There are many resources on the website and you can also follow the journey, the live events um, and uh, that is also available from the events tab. As you can see, you can scroll, you can follow the map. As you can see, Sadhguru is almost reaching the last stop. So he is today in uh, Mysore and the next and the final stop is Coimbatore on June 21st. And further down are the all the videos available. You can click on the site and you can select any event video that you missed watching and you want to watch that. So that is also available here. And again, all these videos that you're watching here, you can also share on your social media and which is the most effective way of communication today. You can reach out to as many people as possible. You can reach out to your even friends and family. You can tweet, retweet, post on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. So again, a reminder, if you've not done so, please sign our at least 10 to 20 minutes a day to amplify the message. Only when a substantial number of people raise their concerns with the government's Will the government implement policy changes? Okay. So um, when Sadhguru was at Kurnool, I was watching the video. Wow, the host, I think an actor, he asked Sadhguru, Sadhguru, what can we do? You know, I'm an actor and my friends are in the business. We are not farmers. So what can we do towards this movement? And do you know what was Sadhguru's response? He just said, raise your voice, raise your voice, raise your voice. So the voice has the power and that's all each one of us has, has to do. If you have any questions, um, you can please post it in the chat. We'll take a few questions.
so I see a question here. Isha Foundation, how can a local farmer participate in safe soil at the ground level minimum agriculture technology? So that's a good question. So uh, frankly, the biggest piece would be we all are raising our voices, but as a farmer, there's a lot of wealth of information that is available, uh, creating that awareness that is necessary because this is, you know, it is nice that individually us and the farmers can do a lot. However, by bringing necessary policy changes, we are ensuring that government is looking at bringing about policy changes that will benefit our farmers in a way that they are able to, you know, invest or enrich their soils so that it is going to benefit them. So necessary policy changes could bring, you know, there would be incentives for farmers, if they are able to bring, you know, crop under cover, if they're able to make sure that, you know, they are taking the necessary steps to enrich their soils, they will get incentivized. And uh, the proof has been in the southern Indian states where the farmer income has gone up 300 to 800 percent. And, uh, you know, as Sadhguru today is in Mysore and the final stop is going to be Coimbatore um, on Tuesday, June 21st, just a few days left. So please follow along on the Safe Soil events page. You can attend the event online. The next one is um, happening on Tuesday. That will be your 7 a.m., 9 a.m. Central Time. Uh, you can follow along there. And if there are no more questions, um, we will meet again on Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, and again Sunday, 2 p.m. Central Time, to look at more updates and activities. Before we close, uh, we would like to share a few highlights uh, in the form of a slide share of pictures from around across uh, you know, cities um, that have participated in the walkathons. So we hope you enjoyed today. Thank you for joining us today. La 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 This very body is soil. My body, your body, everybody is just soil body. The magic of soil is it turns death into life. Depleted soils will not quench the fire of hunger. Unquenched hunger can burn the very world. This is a generational responsibility. Save soil, let's make it happen.